As soon as tomorrow, we could see a brand new depression in the Atlantic Basin as Invest 97L is really trying to get in its act together out there. So we'll be taking a look at the latest coming from the National Hurricane Center. And we'll also be talking about Hurricane Lee, which is an imminent threat to land. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Okay guys, so I hope you're having a really wonderful evening thus far and let us get straight into what is going on. So as we look at the Caribbean, we can see that there isn't much happening. A couple of thunderstorms popping up across some areas thanks to the daytime heating, nothing crazy. And uh, we're going to be looking at our active systems out there. We've also got Margo, so not an an issue for anywhere maybe some inclement weather here and there across sections of the azores but for the most part it's not going to be bringing any significant or dangerous impacts to any land areas there we've got our disturbance 97 l but before we go on to it we want to talk about the latest on lease so this is what the hurricane is looking like pretty sizable out there and going on to the cone forecast here we can see that it is sustaining winds of 85 miles per hour and moving up to the north at 14 miles per hour so right now it is likely that tropical storm conditions are happening across the island of bermuda so if you're in bermuda you can let me know in the comments what is going on for you but lee will continue up to the north and eventually make that approach to parts of new england as well as uh parts of atlantic canada nova scotia new brunswick uh so please take Stay safe guys and heed the watches and those warnings that are in place so lee will not be approaching as a very strong hurricane but it will be strong enough to induce life-threatening conditions that storm surge which is as a result of the winds of the hurricane pushing the water on shore also that heavy rainfall which might trigger flooding across some areas and those strong winds as well which might cause uh the power to go out for many so please be aware of those conditions which are on the way as we're going to be heading into saturday and now let's go ahead and talk about 97L. So as of the 2 p.m. update, a high 90% chance of formation through both 48 hours and 7 days. So as I said earlier, as soon as tomorrow, we could be looking at a new tropical depression. Now for the most part, models want to keep the system offshore of anywhere as a fish storm. But if you're in Bermuda, you want to keep watch for next week as there have been some of the ensemble tracks and even some of the runs where models have shown the system making a very close approach. So you really want to keep watch for this. But it is likely not going to be an issue for the Caribbean or the U.S. as we head into the next several days. And so as we take a look at the shear out ahead of, uh, out ahead of it, here we can see that we've got some of those red lines indicating those unfavorable upper level winds. This really helps to rip up the thunderstorms and prevents us from having a symmetrical, organized, intensifying cyclone out there. So the wind shear is a problem for it. Let's see how it's going to be handling it over the next several days. And then also uh, as we look at the satellite image, of the system we can see here that it is still pretty disorganized but for the most part it is trying to get itself together out there and eventually as I said we will have that tropical depression and it should acquire the name Nigel and most models are expecting that it will eventually become a hurricane out there as for the exact strength uh, that is uncertain at this point in time and also the track as I said if you're in Bermuda you want to keep watch I'm not saying that you will see impacts but there have been some models which take the system a bit close to you guys and so I'll be keeping you posted as time goes by and that is pretty much it for this update. I trust and hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and as always remember to be otherwise.